Hey guys, I just want to say that this video is kind of hard to follow and I'm sorry about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm probably going to make another one, but it's late at night right now and I just want to get this done right. Now, <clears throat> there is two little issues with this video. First of all, I forgot to mention that you will need a text editor. You can use whatever I want in this video, video using Sublime Text. And also, I forgot to turn on the recording of the system sound, so you're not gonna hear any sounds. She's gonna trust me on that one. Thanks. What's up, guys? Uh, it's your boy, TKFR Vision Clemens, or however you wanna call me, because, like, I have so many names because I'm such an important person, you know? You know? I. Listen. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to mod cars to the video game. Like, not completely. All I'm gonna show you is how you can mod uh, unavailable characters into it, right? So I'm gonna show you with the explosive truck. And also, also I'm gonna show you without replacing any other cars, like, right? And sounds are gonna kinda work. I'm gonna show you what that means. Anyways, uh, that means in-game sounds gonna work in the selection screen, not so much. But I'm gonna show you. All right. So, there are kind of a few tools you're gonna need. First of all, you wanna of course have install cars tool, right? You're gonna need Python, and I recommend the newest version 3.10. People have told me that 3.8 doesn't work. I don't know why it isn't working. Maybe 3.9 works? Because the only thing I used, like the only new thing I used uh, is the... Uh, um, Walrus operator and that should be supported by 3.8, but maybe I'm just wrong, right? So you're just gonna click on download download Open this file up and really important is that you click on add Python 3.10 to path and you're just gonna click on install now and Click on yes when it asks you if you want to like to Administrator privileges and it's gonna install that for you The second thing we're gonna need is my script I wrote to pack the zip files. Just gonna go to the file, click on raw, it's gonna show you in this text view. Then you just hit, hit control S and you can save that file. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need is Java. So from I am gonna use Java 8 in this tutorial. You can just go on java.com and download it there and then just install it. It shouldn't be that hard. Everybody has Java. Don't tell me you haven't. The next thing we're gonna need is unluak. This is for decompiling our Lua files. And just click on download. The next thing we are going to need is a compiler for Lua to recompile uh, decompiled binaries. So you're just gonna go on this page, you're gonna go on you're gonna go on tools executables and you're gonna search for Lua Win32 bin. Not that one for that you need SciGW that's a pain to install. Win32. It's important that you don't use 64, that won't work. You need to use Win32. 514 Win32 bin. Click on that file. And again, wait for the download to start and save that. Right, so with that, we have every file we need. I'm just gonna create a folder called Cast2 Modding. I'm gonna uh, create a folder called Tools. And I'm gonna use and gonna create a folder called File Editing. Throw, uh, wider pi, the unlua jar, and lua. Now for lua, all we gotta do is pretty much just gonna click on extract to lua 5.1, and as you can see now it extracted the zip, and we have a folder with all our lua things, right? <coughs> cool. So to make it a bit easier for me, I'm just gonna call this folder Lua and I'm gonna call this file just an Lua. Great. Right click on cast to properties, then local files and search or 
go to or something, I don't know, you, you're gonna figure it out. So as you can see, those are the installation files for your game. So what you wanna go is go on assets. Now I'm gonna show you some of the folder structure. In characters are all the in-game characters, right? In front end are the same models pretty much, um, the same model files and texture files, but for the like the thing at the beginning where you can like select your car for the car selector. These have different folders, so we'll need to fuck around for that later. But for now, we need to get the startup pre.zip. And I'm gonna put it into file editing. I'm gonna right click on it and go on extract to startup pre.zip. Now we can delete that file and we can go into this folder. So go to Lua tables and there should be the cars info.lua. So what we're gonna do is open up a command line right here. For this, you can just shift right click and open up PowerShell. This is the option. If you haven't installed the Windows terminal, then just type in CMD. Or if you have installed the Windows terminal, you can just click on open the Windows terminal. I set it to CMD standard, but you can also, if it, if it opens up in PowerShell, you can also just type in CMD and then hit the enter key. So as you can see, we are in the cars to modding folder, right? Startup free, go to Lua tables and this is the cars info.lua. That's the file that controls it. If you, but if you try to open it up in Sublime Text, for example, it's just gonna show you lots of hexadecimal codes. To decompile this compiled Lua file, all you gotta do is type in Java J minus jar to run a jar with Java. Then, of course, the path to unluak, which is tools backslash unluak.jar. And now to the cars inf now the cars info lua for this you're just going to type in file editing as you can see file editing backslash startup free backslash lua tables and now cars info dot lua now minus type in minus o for the output file and we're just going to go again to file editing startup free lua tables cars info at Lua and we're just gonna put a dot deck for decompile right there. Hit enter and it should decompile the Lua file and you should have created this cars info dot deck dot Lua. If we open that up in sublime text you should see lots of Lua code. So if you look closely we define lots of local variables here and those are all objects and with all the cars and at the end we'll just add that to a list. Uh, I think that's not a guarantee because I haven't tried it, but I think if you just add your own car to this list, it should be available without overwriting something, right? It should be, it should just work. I don't think those are limited, I would guess. I don't know exactly, but I would guess that. But in this tutorial, we're just gonna make a unplayable car playable, right? So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna search for your car. The unplayable cars start, you can see that always in the name, right? They start with a BG at the start. So those are the unplayable cars, right? Now exploding minion is the exploding truck, for example. Uh, we're just gonna try that, right? So what you wanna type in is, you can see that right here, human playable and set to false, right? So what you're gonna do is type in true. Now we're gonna save the file, right? And now we gotta recompile this to the cars info.lua. So for this, I'm gonna delete the cars info.lua. Now I'm gonna type in tools to go into the tools folder. And in this tools folder, we're gonna use lua, go into the lua folder, and now unluak. Uh, and then luak. You can use tab for auto completion. It should be called luak 5.1.exe. Right? Now, if you type in minus h, you can see all the available options for luak. So, what we're gonna do is strip debug information because we don't want that. We're gonna set it, the output to a file, right? So, what you're gonna do is type in minus s, now minus o for the output file. And we're gonna output this to file editing, right? Startup free, Lua tables, and cars info 
Berlua. That's how the original file was called, right? Cars info that Lua. Let's make that a bit more right. Cars info that Lua, right? Now we just gotta input the file we wanna compile, right? So we're gonna go to file editing, startup free, Lua tables, and now cars info that deck that Lua. Hit enter and it should just comp create this cars info Lua. And if we look at it in Sublime Text, you should see it's all binary again. Great. Now delete the cars info deck that Lua because that's we don't need that anymore. And finally we gotta rebuild the zip file. For this, we're just gonna go and back into our terminal and type in Python for Python. And now we're gonna go into tools and execute the wider file. We're gonna do that H to see the option. As you can see, a program to pack zips for cars to the video game written by me, right? So we're gonna type in Python, tools, wider pie. And as you can see, we got a specifier in folder and after this out folder, right? Out file, I mean, right? That's the zip file, right? We're gonna generate. So we're gonna go into file editing, startup free, and now we're gonna put output that to file editing startup free dot zip. As you can see, it generated this zip file. So I would recommend that you don't edit this with any other tool, but if you wanna change something about it, you just gotta repack it. Because although it can be opened with any zip program, it's again, it's not a normal zip, right? It's not gonna load otherwise. So what you wanna do is get this startup free.zip, right? And we're just gonna, uh, we're gonna go back into our cars to game files. These should be here, assets. Now I'm gonna just rename the old startup free uh, zip to, and put a dot old at the end of it. So it doesn't get loaded by the file, uh, by the game and copy the new startup free that zip right to here, right? Great. Now let's open up the game and see what happens. As you can see, there is a new car right there. It doesn't have an image. Uh, the Yugo car, which is called YUGO in the game files, actually has an image, but this one doesn't, but if you go on it, it's just gonna show nothing, and if we hit enter, nothing's gonna happen. Why is that? Alright, but why isn't it working? The reason for this is pretty easy. If we take a look at the assets folder, we're gonna see that we have a front end folder and a characters folder. The character folder contains all the in-game textures, but the front end folder textures or for the car selection screens are contained in the front end folder, right? So what we need to do is build our own front end that's it. The way we do this is we first of all go to, to the characters and we're gonna select the car that we want to implement, right? In this case, VG Exploding Minion, right? So as you can see, it has a zip right here and we're just gonna copy that zip over to our file editing, right? So the next thing we're gonna need is the, a front end zip to build our zip on. So you're just gonna go into front end to characters and you can pretty much select any character we, you want, but I'm gonna try it with Gremlin in this case. By the way, this is by no means a perfect solution, but this is just what I came up with. It's easiest. So now that we have the Gremlin and the BG Exploding Minion that zip, we're gonna extract them both into their folders and delete the zips. Now that we have both of these files, we can we open up two explorer windows and put the side by side. So what we're trying to figure out is what files uh, Gremlin is, uh, or BG Exploding Minion is missing from Gremlin, right? So this looks good. Then let's go to characters, characters here. So what you want to do here is delete both of these uh, folders and we're just going to rename this to car 
underscore front end. Great. Let's go into both of those folders, go to motions here. Great. Let's copy all of the gremlin motions over to here. All right, let's go back a few steps. Let's go into the gremlin folder, into the VG Exploding Minions folder, into both of these motion folders, let's copy them over here too. All right, looks all good to me. Oh yeah, go back here another step and go to the effects folders right let's copy both of these effects over to here too and this should pretty much create a proper front end vg exploding minion files yeah looks good looks good to me if i've yeah i don't know how much of a difference this makes but uh well i'm just trying here okay so the next thing we're gonna do is pack our BG exploding minions zip. So for this, again, use my tool, python tools y.py, file editing, BG exploding minion, and file editing, BG exploding minion zip. And it should have generated the file with all the proper files in it, right? So what you now gonna do is go back into your game files, go to front end characters, and you wanna create a folder that exactly has the same name, BG Exploding Minion, right? And in this empty BG Exploding Minion folder, you're just gonna put the BG Exploding Minion zip. All right, great. Now let's start a game again. And as you can see, it's a bit glitchy. As you can see, it's glitched down in the wall, but it didn't replace any other car. And and it also has the sounds of Gremlin, but the sounds of Gremlin are only in the menu, right? In the front, in the selection menu. Ah, well, that doesn't work that well. Alright, let's go. That's fucking amazing. Alright, let's go. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next.